Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be talking about the subject that we all love studying. I feel like when I started watching these videos about how to effectively study is probably when I was like late high school, early college. And and I felt like everyone was like, yeah. In high school, I never studied. I just was able to go into an exam and pass without even reading the book or whatever. And I'm just like, what the f- What school did you go to? I feel like everyone has like a different experience from the high school I went to. They could have been like, yeah, I was able to do that. But for me, I feel like I was not able to do that. I feel like I had to study to actually pass my classes, barely. And I remember back in the day, I would be f falling asleep on my dining room table until like four in the morning trying to complete a project with imagery without words though and like explain it, but like not explain it at the same time. Anyway, then I had classes that were just made no sense to me. <laughs> Ninth grade geometry. And there was classes I actually just did lip sync battles, you know, for a grade. So I feel like high school is really different for everyone. I feel like after high school though, the way I studied in high school just didn't work when I went to college. I feel like in college it was completely a different like ball game and like I had to have a different tactic on how I study. So if you want to see how I personally study effectively and efficiently in college, then stay tuned. And watch the rest of this video. The first part of a studying I feel like is the prep work and what I mean prep work is before you go into your semester or just going into college in general to be honest you need to know what kind of learner you are and I feel like we learned all that stuff when we were younger of like I'll put it like right here so you can see like the chart and you can also like research which one you are for me I personally think I'm a reading and writing learner personally I like to write notes down and I like to read and take notes at the same time and there's other learners that likes to listen better or like our hands on learners I feel like knowing what type of learner you are going into your semester is way more helpful than trying to figure that out during your semester does that make sense next once you find out what type of learner you are you need to go to class I don't know why I have to explain that but like college students are notorious for skipping class for no reason I feel like going to class and actually hearing the information and writing the information seeing it in person attending your lectures in person then go instead of relying on a PowerPoint slide that they post on blackboard later on like that's not gonna help you know what I mean like I feel like if you you get so much more information from actually attending lectures because they probably say things in the lecture that are not gonna be on the PowerPoint slide but they will show up on the exam if you're fortunate enough that your professor records their lectures then I feel like I guess you can use that to supplement your learning but I don't think you should like completely skip class and just rely on the recorded lectures as well I don't know something about being in class I feel like just aids your learning so much more because you're probably gonna pay attention more in class than to the recorded lecture later on I know none of my professors ever recorded their lectures so I actually had to go to class to actually you know retain the information so I feel like that's just the second step to part one. Third step of part one will be take good notes. When I say this will help you so much later on if you take good notes from the beginning but if you have really good notes it will help you in long in the long run because later on you're not going to be trying to teach yourself during your study session. You should already know this stuff and this should be a refresher a reminder of what you, this topic was about. You know what I mean? Okay. Are you gonna lay down? I'm waiting for you to get comfortable before I can continue. So I grabbed this binder that I had from Intermediate Accounting 2. Usually I have a, like a subject notebook or whatever, but for my accounting classes, some of them require the binder. So for me, I like to actually look in the syllabus to see what chapter we'll be learning in the next class. I like to read that chapter just so I know what that chapter is gonna be about before I enter that class. So I usually have like pre-notes that I usually write before entering the class so I have just a broad understanding of what that class is about then when I actually go into class I actually take detailed notes while my professor is lecturing in this case my professor was lecturing about intermediate accounting 2 stuff after I will go in and take notes on how to do the homework so I'll take like step-by-step -step notes of how, what I did to get the answer so when I go into the study session this is all review this is not things that are new to me like I have that like a serious understanding of what that chapter is about so that's all for part one so let's read recap what part one's about the so part one step one figure out what type of learner you are like I said I'll put it right here again the type of learners then step two actually go to class you're not gonna be able to understand what your chapter is about if you don't go to class and step three take good notes from the beginning so later on you're not reteaching yourself the chapter 
So part two is the actual studying itself. So step one for efficiently studying will be set up a nice study space. You know, I have my little office area in my brother's room. My brother moved out, so I use that area as my little office space, my homework space. I do not like doing homework in my room personally because I get all comfortable and I lay down and I sleep and I do all these things that I'm not supposed to be doing. I'll probably watch TV, there's a TV in here. Like there's so many things that I'll be doing that doesn't help me focus on studying. Find just somewhere that's not your room to really study. If you don't have that opportunity to do that, then obviously make your room somewhere where you are comfortable enough to study and focus. Step two goes along with step one. It's just creating a nice atmosphere. You do not want to be in a messy area. For me personally, if my room's a mess, I feel like my mind's a mess, my brain's a mess. So I feel like I have my like, like string lights all around my room like up on my chest on my dresser around my mirror on my headboard and around this wall right here and I like to have these lights on and not like my room lights on and I just feel like it creates such a nice environment and calming environment to like focus and you can just put like some nice smooth like calming study playlist music they have a lot of on Spotify I can read some of the ones that I use personally so one I do have a calm and peaceful playlist that I created myself on Spotify also I like deep focus I do like classical music for reading I like music for concentration as well also I like to play jazz music for some reason I like to play classical and jazz music while I'm studying I don't know it just gets me in the mood to concentrate but yeah creating a nice environment cool relaxing environment while you study is just like something that's just optimal for like a great study session step three for me personally is having like just the supplies to study like have your markers your pens and everything ready everything in one spot so it's easier for you to not like having to get up constantly to get like highlighters and stuff like that then step four is to actually you know study so for me personally study guides usually look like this you're really thick and stuff for me this was for a final exam for intermediate accounting too so this was like really like there was like a lot of pages here personally I like to be very thorough but not recopying my notes if that makes sense I like to like kind of skim through the chapter again to understand like what the chapter is talking about then I go in and I practically just talk about the main idea and different examples that they talk about in the chapter itself after I do that I like to go in with practice problems like I said this is all like accounting based for reading and writing usually it's a little different I'm not doing practice problems and stuff but I am going back into the chapter rereading and just writing the main ideas and stuff like that and trying to have like a visual understanding of what the chapter is talking about and I feel like once you have a general understanding of what the chapter is talking about you are set for the exam usually practice problems are what takes me the most because I end up doing like pages and pages and pages of practice problems and another thing that I like to do is actually redo the homeworks and redo the quizzes and usually I do this like weeks after I've done them so yeah that's really what I do to be honest to study effectively I don't know if that really helped anyone but for this it's more like accounting based accounting is what I have to study the most so let's bring it all together for part two so part two step one to pick like a good area to study like I said I personally don't like using my room to study I like to use my office area so step two create a nice ambiance in your room step three is to have all your materials like I said I like to use color pens I like to use highlighters I like to use sticky notes throughout all my notes and stuff so like having that all in one place is easier than having it all scattered because I don't like to get up constantly to go get those things step four studying itself but yeah honestly I feel like it was so I don't know if it was like even helpful to be honest with you but I hope it was I hope this video helped you figure out how you could study efficiently and effectively in college if you have any other tips please leave them down below because obviously I'm not the best explainer on things so this was video was kind of hard for me to do but I was asked to do it so I'm doing it if you like this video please like comment and subscribe if you're new I would love to have you in our family we're on the road to 100 subscribers so please join our little family that we're growing here and yeah with that being said I'll see you guys next time bye